computer to try ever see it. <laughs> okay, and I, if I dance into your seat, you can't get mad at me, right? Because you dance into what I do, okay, right? Anyhow, it's Friday Night Flies. I just spent three hours on my new supercomputer because it went off to the seat and you get a new operating system put on it and get some kinks worked out of it. So... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I uh, I had to step out for a couple minutes because I was running up. Well, you can see I pulled a lot of hair out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I came back. You banged your head on the counter. counter. I made a quick stop at my McDonald's. Get a large pop. Buck, you can't beat it. So. <laughs> Everybody's here waiting to see a fly get tied, so I'm going to pass it over to my good friend here, Scotty Holmes. He's tying up tonight the bionic egg pattern. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the show. New camera is awesome. I'm loving it. There you go, Scotty. She's all yours. Okay. Oh, we went over to the other pattern here, but we'll, we'll go back up to the big camera here. We've got another camera tonight. Where are we? There it is. Okay, okay. Ready for the color. Finally flies. It's been a long night. Um, you know, Brad's been dealing with the computer problems, and we've been setting up cameras. We, we, we thought we were setting up a boom camera, and it ended up being just a 360 camera, but it's awesome because it enables us to see Brad and see what's going on in the store all at the same time. Um, it seems like you're a long ways away from me, but you really aren't. I'm just not in the picture. Yeah, no, I mean, we can hear you all the time. There's Everybody hears what you say when you say it, right? Yeah. But but the ability now, like, let's just do it. Let's just do a 360 pan. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. We're going over the supercomputer right now, and there's my handsome self. It's right liquid there. cooling. Yeah. Liquid cooling. Liquid cooling. Liquid cooling. Anyhow, let's get to the show tonight. Let's get Okay, back. let's tie a fly. Now, okay, okay. In. We're zooming in on the fly as we speak. And there it is. All right. And there it is. Okay. That's the pattern. Okay. Call it bionic egg. Let's show people how that thing The works. bionic egg. Okay. So what we have is we have a bunch of chenille. Very, very simple pattern. It's um, one, two, three, four materials. Five materials including lead if you want to put lead on. Um, this one's not tied with lead. If you're going to run a sink tip, you don't need lead. Um, but it is nice to have a little bit on there. So we're going to tie a bit of lead on there tonight. So we get rid of this, and we're going to tie on this. Off to the races. Off to the races. Where are my glasses? Oh, there they are. Okay. I'm going to tie on a little bit of lead. It's a little bit thicker. This is Scotty's lead, so it's a little bit thicker than what I usually use. And what I usually do is I usually start down at the bottom of the the hook. Well, you can't laugh over there while I'm like when I'm tired. If I'm you're laughing, what the hell's going on? Like what's that, what's that mean? Okay, so and also we're. I think I need to buy a new spool of lead. Yeah, I say. So we're tying. We're tying on the lead. And I'm not trying to wreck Scotty's spool here, so That's just lead. We'll trim it. And the nice part here is that you can you can sort of force the lead into the head of the the fly. I leave a long tag so that it gives something to stop against the head. And 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 I leave this piece not that long. It's been a long. <laughs> it's been a long. It's been a long night, so that's a bit of a long tag to waste every time you tie a fly, but we'll uh, <laughs> we'll go with that. I mean, who doesn't love a long tag, right? Name name one person. Especially when you're the guy selling it. I, uh, yeah. Hey. Keep leaving those big long tags. Oh, yeah. Right? I love those tags on your, on your flies. They're the best. Show everybody how yeah. to use those big tags. You are so good at tying tags on flies. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. I'm trying to tie here. Okay. okay. Quiet. 
so now we're going to tie on the thread. And what I do is I, uh, and because of the camera, I think Scotty said last week, we're both chefs. And tonight, I never scrub. I never. I never scrub my nails. Okay. Okay. So. Looks like you've been. Oh, okay. And, you know what? And, and that's not fair because it's not like I didn't do it yesterday. I didn't do it the day before. It's just it. This is what you do as a chef, and it becomes permanent. Yeah, and you have to be a little bit diligent if you're going to go on camera on high oh, HD. Yeah, yeah, you should probably. Brushing out, so if that didn't happen, sorry. Um, okay, so we got we got the lead on, we got the bead on. Little tie in right behind yeah. it. Yeah, the whole idea is that all Secure. we're basically doing, all we're trying to do here is that we're trying to tie a fly, and all of this that's behind there or in front can be trimmed or not trimmed, but the idea being that it's the ruptured part of an egg sac and it's creating movement in the water I think that's the biggest thing is that it's creating movement so and I want my UV. and it's UV you can't forget UV man. it's get it's UV so I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it I try I tie the chenille on the whole length of the hook to try to keep it the same bring it to the barb with a pattern like this because it's um. So be, I'll take a, maybe a couple a couple turns past the barb, and then and trim her off. Okay, and then we'll wrap. Okay, so then you just wrap this to the front, and. There's gonna be lots of people that are gonna tell you you need you need wire you need all that sort of stuff you know what I lose these flies faster than I throw them on average like egg patterns egg patterns fish the bottom trees stumps and so to protect a a fly I'm not saying that it, that people are wrong okay like don't get me wrong I'm not saying that the people that want to protect their flies to last for 15 days of fishing are wrong but is it going to last for 15 days of shit? Not, not likely, no. It's it's not not catching. That's right. It's not going to last. <laughs> not so exactly. why why spend an extra 15 <laughs> minutes of fly? Bank in the bottom the whole time. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so if you're not fishing it properly, that bee gets beaten. It'll last real quick. Yeah, but so you want to fish it properly, and, and you also, you know, the – that's not saying the bottom, not saying trees, that's saying everything else that's in there, right? Like, totally, 100%. So if I tie a wire up here, I sort of lose part of the fly. I lose part of what I can do with a fly, right? It's, okay, it's not as... Are you going to throw shield over top of that, or what are you doing? No, we're tying an egg right on top of this. Right on it's, on like, top of it's like when you go into a store and you guys are like, I want, I'm going to have bacon and eggs and then put pancakes on top. That's right. Exactly what it's like. I want pancakes too. Have a different way of looking at things. <laughs> See, I would have put the eggs and that on top of pancakes. But, but oh yeah, okay, we can do it that way. I mean, oh yeah, like it just glowed, yeah. and it has a. It, and it's not just a, an orange. It's kind of like a UV. Uh, uh, um. Chartreuse also. I think that's what they've built in right right into it. So okay, so so now that's it. Like right now, that's the complicated part of the fly. That's hard. Oh yeah. yeah. Well other than whining gets right out, but <laughs> so we got that all done. Tie that in nice and solid. Bring it back a little bit because you don't want to tie your egg right on the middle. Of the okay, and then from there, and then and the cool part about this is th these colors all come like you can get different egg or head colors. You can get different this stuff. What is it called? I don't have the package, but 
this hackle, this this uh, chenille comes in like probably I would say at least eight different colors. So you could tie it in all of the. in darker orange, lighter orange. Um, right now with the one I particularly have, I think it works well with something that would be considered more towards the spring salmon style row. It's bigger and it's orange as opposed to more, as opposed to more red. Yeah, and you just change up your color. For I, and that's I right. I, I, one of the things I look for when salmon. I tie, especially uh, salmon patterns, is um, consistencies. So if I can tie the same pattern in four different colors, as opposed to trying to figure out, okay, what what's the pattern going to be? It's like a, it's the same pattern. It's just a different color, right? So I tie as opposed to tying in. Uh, a lot of our boxes are like that. Yeah. As opposed to tying in orange, I tie in, you know, something else, another color. That's the whole key. And so you develop a pattern, and you tie the same pattern, but in different colors. And on different days, different colors are hot. Yeah, exactly. So and 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 depends what they're keying in on. Well, mm -hmm. and you have to have something else to toss. You can't just depend on one idea. This is something Scotty loves. He loves his trim. I'm not a big trimmer. I, much sooner someone else came in to trim for me. <laughs> I, if we could hire someone to do that, that would be good. Is it a straight razor or electric? <laughs> yeah, you got an electric trimmer. Yeah, well, I don't know. You you know if someone could do this, basement I'll level. take credit and, and <laughs> right, they trim. Yeah. I'm a trimmer. Shout out to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I'm trying to fucking excuse me. My boss. Oh, yeah, that's it. That didn't work. I need a mic. <laughs> Been a long night. I have to use my whip to finish right here. Yeah, that's gonna help for sure. Right now, it just looks like a nice big disco. Disco. Climb oh. ahead. And you know what? You can fish this. I mean, you need a heck of a sink tip to, to fish it. But not with all that lead you put on there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That was thick. That was thick leg. That's my bad. That's the only thing I have. And you know what? Tonight, I'm not even sure that that's gonna hold. Like everything's probably gonna <laughs> unravel. <clears throat> we have the idea, right? You tie it off. Okay. Yeah. It is gonna hold. I thought my my thread had sort of tangled around the. Uh, the whole bead head, which sometimes happens. Okay, so now what you do is you take both sides at the same time. And, and I read this on the internet, and I don't know if I believe it, but they say this stuff dulls scissors faster than anything. It I is. believed you. I went and bought another pair, and I have a pair <laughs> just for doing that now. Yeah. Does it work? Does it dull? Well, no, they way? say so that it's my yarn. Scissors. They say that, that wool yarn is the worst for your scissors. There's nothing yeah. worse. That's pretty common knowledge. Well, I know paper's pretty bad on them things too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so I got one that's just for deer hair. It's for eggs now. Then okay. it right so out. I always trimming. wondered how you guys did that, but that's pretty wild. I'm kidding, of course. Yeah. But hey, that haircut is starting to come together a little bit better for sure. Oh, it's you good. guys can see, yeah. Oh man, we're watching it on HD right now as you're you're shaving half of your freaking. You, and you know what? Yeah. I personally believe, because I fished a lot of egg patterns this summer, okay? Actually, over the last couple of years. And I can't say that I've had a lot more success with the ones that I spent the ultimate time manicuring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know no, what I mean? No. Like, they we're trying to pro project oh, a rupturing egg. That's right. So, it ain't going to be pretty. Rupture? It ain't going to be pretty. No, it ain't. You got that 100%. So we need to uh, not cut off our thread like I did. <laughs> <laughs> but it done? isn't a big deal because we have a bead there. Part of the reason why I run the bead is uh, I like the extra weight. It gives it a more of a, a dipping profile as it as it goes through the water. Yeah. 
And this stuff is so beautiful. Look at look at how big that is. Like I'm gonna tie oh, in going that much. Focus. Back at the floor. Yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right I'm right gonna right. tie in this much. That's it. That's it. I'm not gonna tie in anymore. And that's gonna hold that. And it's not gonna fall off my fly. Like even look at if you can see it. It's even almost less. Between that little bit. And this is why this stuff is so great. Just a couple extra fibers. Yeah, it's those. It's the little fibers. So again, we'll we'll go around this again one more time. And this is just trying to illustrate the rupturing egg, right? And every single fiber that I put on is trimmable. It's not to say that they have to stay the way they are. Yeah, right there would be good. Even you don't want to go too crazy. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna put any more. I'm trying to get it back so I can tie it off. But the whole point being that if, if if the fibers in the front seem too long to you, go ahead and trim them. I mean, now I lost. I lost that one and a half turns there probably as I tightened it up. You saw that, Scotty? Yeah. Oh well, it'll work. It's all right, fun. You still got a lot of fiber there. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. And as I come and as I bring it in around, you know, for beginner that. tires and people that don't realize what's going to happen, I mean, you know, things aren't always going to happen the way you want. That's the key, right? Like, it doesn't mean the fly is useless. It doesn't mean you got to give up. It doesn't mean anything. It just means, like, it's different. And 100% replication in tie flying is not easy, even on simple patterns. So we got that in there. And the idea behind this pattern is I, I, I fished the pattern just the egg all summer on like probably five or six different rivers. And it's deadly. Change camera. <laughs> Change camera. Change camera. Change I fish this, fish this fly all summer long. And <clears throat> I, I watch a lot of people fishing nymphs, bugs, everything. And, you know, when there's salmon in the river, an egg pattern is going to work. That could be simple, like anything spawning. Anything spawning. Anything spawning, you're on them. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, and, and it works. And, you know, it's you got to have belief in what you do and, and the patterns that you're trying. And I really have a lot of belief in this guy. I think that this one's going to work. And uh, I'm going to throw it a lot. Tie it up and prove Next it wrong. summer. Next time, Scotty Holmes. Scotty Holmes with Friday Flies, and it's a bit late tonight. We had technical difficulties. Hey, it's uh, five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, it's got to be five o'clock <laughs> somewhere in the world. Yeah, so we're going for wherever it is. Five o'clock. Scotty the Bull is gonna tie us up a fly. That's right. Boulders in the house. Big, big bad Brad. Man big in the bad controls in the right house. there. And uh, next week, five o'clock, Friday Flies. We're going to be on time next week. Yeah, we're going to be on time next week. <laughs> we're going to be sober. <laughs>